Having dealt with the steps of our investigation, uh, we turn now to the steps involved in perpetrating a computer crime. What is the attacker going to be doing step by step? And uh, of course the objective here is not to turn you all into attackers, but rather to identify what the steps are and therefore to allow you to plan uh, what you can put in place in terms of security tools to either prevent uh, certain of those steps from happening or to detect when they are happening. Uh, so this is the intent here to uh, determine what kind of protective measures in security are going to be most effective for us in, in terms of protecting our enterprise. Uh, making sure that the attacker does not succeed. Um, in a sense, um, this is uh, the, the same kind of thing that we were doing uh, back at security management in terms of the attack tree. You know, what is it that we can uh, deny the attacker in terms of completing their attack? Uh, you know, how can we frustrate their plans? So, what are they going to be doing in terms of their own attack steps? And, and of course, uh, you know, as I say, not only preventing what they're doing, but detecting uh, what they are doing, you know, given the different steps of the attack. And therefore, uh, you know, what can we learn about them? Um, in our investigation. What does it say about their uh, identification, uh, about their capabilities, uh, uh, in, in terms of, you know, what stage of the attack are they at? Um, so, uh, first of all, they're going to identify the target. Um, you know, is... Uh, you know, what is the target? And uh, we have, unfortunately, um, an example here, a bad example, from um, uh, what are we? Uh, uh, <laughs> pretending that we are the attacker. As if, you know, uh, somebody doing the uh, um, you know, penetration testing. And uh, a certain company uh, contacted them and say, okay, we want a, you know, a zero uh, information attack. You know, you just uh, attack us as if you were completely ignorant of us and see how far you get. So um, the uh, penetration testing people uh, started to do that. They identified a domain name, related to this company's name and uh, business and uh, started in on doing what penetration they could. Um, you know, they identified the domain name, they're, they're probing, uh, trying to find individual systems, we're not get ahead of ourselves here, that sort of thing. Unfortunately, the domain name they had identified was not, in fact, the company that had engaged them. So not only were they doing nothing for the company uh, who gave them the contract, there was, in fact, this other company that got very upset that they were being uh, probed by somebody. And, and when this all came to light, of course, it was uh, rather embarrassing for quite a few of the, the parties involved. Um, so identification of the target and collecting information and of course you know that's at, at this point that's basically what they were doing was collecting information what kind of systems what kind of networks uh, how extensive are the networks uh, operating systems on uh, the platforms uh, not the identification of the platforms but um, 
this is um, getting into the, the next stage, analyzing the target to identify vulnerabilities. Um, you know, okay, we identify the platforms. Do we know of any vulnerabilities for this particular hardware platform? Uh, do we... Um, uh, we've identified the uh, the operating system for it. Are there vulnerabilities in uh, this uh, operating system? And uh, you know, have they remained unpatched? Uh, you know, what what other tools are there? Again, uh, you know, what security tools are being used? And do the security tools themselves have vulnerabilities? In analyzing the target and identify vulnerabilities. Um, then, using those vulnerabilities, uh, generally speaking, you gain some kind of access to the target. So, break in. Now, you're, you know, you've at least got a toe in the door. Um, how, uh, you know, at this point, you escalate your privileges. You know, how can you get further in? Can you uh, grant yourself rights and permissions? Uh, can you, uh, from the inside, identify other things that can escalate your privileges or uh, allow you to create additional uh, points of access? And means of access for this. Uh, so, um, and then uh, the final stage, complete the attack. Now the attack, maybe a one-off and completing the attack is either just, you know, simply getting in or these days, you know, getting in, grabbing something and getting out. Um, but uh, <laughs> completing the attack is becoming increasingly complicated these days. We can also have a number of situations where, um, okay, completing the attack means consolidating our permission. We've gotten in, we've escalated our privileges. We now have root access to this system. Okay, what are we gonna do? Are we going to uh, put in some kind of a root kit that means that the original system owners and administrators are themselves um, locked out, not necessarily visibly. They, we may leave them a, a sort of access that uh, looks to them as if they're still running things, but in reality it's, it's reporting everything that they're doing to us and anything that we don't want them to do that might impede our access as attackers uh, we prevent from actually happening so uh, completing the attack itself can be a very complicated phase here